Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brown with Men's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, November 21st, 2018. Real quick, before we get into this video, I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving and enjoys time with their family and loved ones and enjoys all that great food. But enough of that, let's talk about comics. Kicking off this week, we have Aquaman number 42. This is a Drowned Earth tie-in story. As Aquaman and Wonder Woman race home from the Graveyard of the Gods to turn the tide against the Ocean Lords, Arthur learns a stunning secret about his past. Armed with the knowledge that Justice League may be fighting the wrong enemy, Aquaman must confront the Ocean Lords and learn the truth before the Cosmic Flood resets all life on Earth. There's a regular cover by Eduardo Pizzica. There's also a regular priced Aquaman movie variant by Ben Oliver. Although I'm a big fan of Ben Oliver's art, I think I'm going with the regular cover on this one. Batman number 59. Caught between Batman and his unseen enemy, the Penguin has to think on his feet to avoid being taken down by either side. If he chooses one way, he goes to jail. If he chooses the other, he ends up dead. Then again, the choice seems obvious. Is Batman ready for a new kind of Avion sidekick? There's a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant by Francesco Mattina. I'm picking the Mattina one on this. Harley Quinn number 54. This is going to have a regular cover by Gail March. What I like on this one is the Frank Cho variant. It's regular priced. I like how he's doing a variant for each season. Might be worth picking up for a set, especially for PC. I don't know how much speculation value it'll have. But if you're a fan of Frank Cho, those are great covers. So I'm going to pick that one up. Justice League Dark number 5. After the Witching Hour storyline, the magical community collectively freaks out and forbids Wonder Woman and the Justice League Dark team from meddling in magic anymore. We have a regular cover by Nicholas Scott. There's also a regular price variant by Clayton Crane. Justice League number 12. This is going to be part 3 to Drowned Earth. We're going to have Batman in a full body cast versus the Legion of Doom. It's going to have a regular cover by Jorge Jimenez. There's also a regular price Perillo Aquaman movie variant. Teen Titans number 24. Four. Set up by the mysterious villain known as The Other, Teen Titans find themselves trapped beneath the crumbling building. The only thing in between them and a dirt nap, Crush is bench pressing the entire complex. There's a regular cover by Bernard Chang. There's a regular price variant by Alex Gardner. I actually like both covers on this, especially with the storyline of the Crushy building. And it has Crush on there, bench pressing the building up. But a huge fan of Alex Gardner, so I think I'm going to pick both covers up. American Carnage number one. This is a new series from DC's Vertigo imprint. Disgraced FBI agent Richard Wright is offered a chance for redemption when his old mentor sends him undercover to infiltrate a white supremacist group believed to be responsible for the death of a fellow agent. A regular cover by Ben Oliver. There's also a regular price variant by Raphael Albuquerque. I like the Ben Oliver cover for this. Go about to number one. This comes from IDW Publishing. For those that didn't play with Transformers as a kid, they probably play with GoBots. There's got four different covers for it. There's a regular cover. There's a regular price blank variant. There's an incentive Dash Shaw variant. And an incentive Benjamin Mara variant. And for those that went out for local comic shop day, there is a GoBots local comic shop day variant. Judge Dread Toxic Number 2. This is going to have three different covers for it. There's a regular Mark Buckingham cover, regular price John Gallagher variant, as well as an incentive Mark Buckingham sketch cover. I love the Gallagher cover on this, so that's the one I'd be picking up. Cold Spots Number 4. In this issue, Grace's connection to the dead grows stronger, and as it does, so too does the life sapping cold of a supernatural winner. Exorcisters number two. After a demonic domestic dispute, Kate and Kate Harrow are visited by their estranged mother, leading to revelations about how the sisters got dragged into the dark world of deals and devils. There's a regular cover. There's also a regular price brand by Dan Parent. I'm going to pick up the Dan Parent one just because I like his art, especially when it comes to Archie books. Middle West number one. This comes from Image Comics, written by Scotty Young. Lands between the coasts are vast, slow to change, and full of hidden magic. Mistakes have been made, and an unwitting adventurer searches for answers to quell a coming storm that knows his name. It has three different covers for it. There's a regular Mike Huddleston cover. There's an incentive Jorge Corona variant. There's also an incentive Scotty Young variant. I like the Scotty Young variant for this. I do like the Corona, but I like the Scotty Young better. In fact, that's going to be my pick of the week. Immortal Hulk number 9. In this issue, we have the Absorbing Man taking on the Immortal Hulk. 
It's going to have a regular cover by Alex Ross and a regular price Uncanny X-Men variant by Arthur Adams. Marvel Knights 20th number 2. This is going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Jeff Shaw cover. There's a regular price connecting variant by Carrie Andrews. There's a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Jay Lee. And there's a 1 in 50 incentive variant by Dave Johnson. I'm torn because I love the Jay Lee art, but I also like that 1 in 50 Dave Johnson variant. Guess I'm just going to pick whichever one I can find and whichever one I can get for a good price. Punisher number 4. The chips are down and the Punisher's boxed in. But do his pursuers think that makes him more dangerous or less? And nobody puts Frank in a corner. There's three different covers for this as a regular Greg Smallwood cover. There's also going to be two high ratio incentive variants. They're both by Mike Zek. One's a hidden gem color and one's a hidden gem sketch variant. That's the main reason I have this title in this video is I don't see too many stores ordering enough of the ratio to get the incentive variants so they might be hard to come by. And I'd much rather put my money behind a classic Punisher artist than some of these crazy prices some of these other books are fetching these days. Sherry number two. In this issue, Sherry teams up with Storm to go looking for her missing brother. It's got three different covers. There's a regular scene Sprat cover. There's an incentive movie variant and an incentive Afua Richardson variant. I actually like the movie variant for this one. Spider Force number two. This is a Spider-Geddon tie-in. The deadliest mission all of Spider-Geddon has come up and Kane has stepped forward for what will sure be a suicide mission, but he can't do it alone. The so Spider-Woman has signed on to help. Spider-Geddon number four. As long as Solus, the father of the inheritors, has not returned, the spider still stand a chance. If he is revived, it means Kane and Spider-Woman's spider force has fallen and the spider eaters have one leader and one cause, and that's total annihilation. There's four covers for this. There's a regular Jorge Molina cover, regular priced and high Lee connecting variant, and there's an incentive Javier Garin variant, and an incentive Joe Chiodo variant. Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse number one. With his ability to traverse, with his, with his ability to traverse the multiverse, Spider-Man assembles a team to track down a loose end from his past, the fate of the mighty Gog. There's a regular Edward Petrovich cover. There's an incentive animation variant and an incentive Matt Waite variant. Uncanny X-Men number two. This contains the 10 weekly series. It's got a regular Lionel Francis U cover. It's gonna have a regular price John Tyler Christopher action variant and an incentive Javier Garon variant. Web of Venom Carnage Born number one. A cruel cannibal obsessed with death and murder few more in Cletus Cassidy after he seemingly died and venomized. But now a cult devoted to the madman has gathered, hoping to resurrect their fallen idol and return his madness to the Marvel Universe. This is a regular cover by Kyle Hotz. There's a regular price brand by Ian Betterman and an incentive virgin Kyle Hotz brand. Lollipop Kids number two. This is from Aftershock Comics. Really enjoyed the first issue, so I'm going to continue to pick this up. It just has the one cover and it's by Robert Hack. Knights of the Golden Sun number one. This comes from Mad Cave Studios. 400 years separate the Old Testament from the New Testament. And during that time, neither man nor angel could hear God's divine message. In his absence, an age of chaos began. With humanity at the wayside, a power struggle erupts among the archangels over who will control Father's throne. Morella presents Veronica Returns special number five. This comes from Veronica Publishing, written by Glenn Danzig. New character Martana, the sugar skull faced Mexican Polero witch, returns for more evil brutality by Glenn Danzig and Rafa Garris. So, there you have it. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, November 21st, 2018. As it is Thanksgiving this week, one of the things I'm thankful for is for every single person that subscribes to my channel and takes time to watch these videos. This is Brown Superman's Comics in collaboration with ComicBookInvest.com, and I'll see you guys next week.